Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Commander Outdoors. And this is episode four of the XTP build series. And this episode, we tackle style and function in a really big way, uh, courtesy of Bullite Off-Road Wheels. And uh, we went ahead and chose out some, or chose some new rubber to throw on there too. So we got three, and I'm not gonna show you till the end, but we got three of the four done. We're just gonna catch up with Dad now, who's starting on the fourth, because these are bead locks. You can actually mount them at home. And here he is getting her all set up. So, soapy water. Soapy water. And this is the yeah. back side of the rim or the front, or the um, tire? This will be the, the front. The front, okay, yeah. so you're gonna go the front there, and then the you lay the front of the rim face up. At least Dad says this is the easier way he found it. Well. Or he found. This is the first time doing it, remember. To get I, it on. I learned off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, I, I do struggle a bit, but you know, I got her done. So while we watch Dad, I'll just give you the rundown of what these actually are. So the, the rims are the um, rider rim, the rider beadlock from Bolite. And the tires are uh, Super Grip K9s. No. And, or yeah, it is. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, they're Super Grip K9. Sorry. That's what they're called. And uh, what made these tires really intriguing was the fact that not only do you have really deep shoulder lugs there. The, the... Okay, we're back. And I apologize for the cut, very abrupt cut in the video, but the battery died because I wasn't expecting cold weather. So I can't even remember where we left off. I think I was talking about the rim and tire and a little bit about them. So before we get into this, this is the BT-05 Rider beadlock from Bullite Wheels. It came from the factory with a red ring. They do have color options available in the future. They aren't ready yet. But Dad went and uh, got his sandblasted and powder coated matte, or not matte black, um, a gloss black, because the Commander is actually a, it's got like a, almost a metallic painted plastic on it and it looks really sharp when it's shiny. And then he's obviously gonna put stainless um, bolts in. And then the tire is the Super Grip K9, which we had to actually get imported from the States because no Canadian dealer, or at least anyone that we had, um, within probably, what, a three hour radius of here at least, eh? Three to four hours. You know something, everybody's same thing. Never heard of them, never heard of them. Geez, yeah. never heard of them or uh, can't get them. Yeah. That was that. Yeah, and I mean, when you look at these, so when I saw them online, I thought, okay, that's a really impressive tire online but when you're seeing things online you know some, sometimes it's exaggerated but after seeing them in real like in person they're incredibly impressive I mean the the lugs are are a true inch deep it's an eight ply tire I mean if these were more I guess well known I think people would be abandoning the XTR 370 and Carnivore and yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's a no name tire really, but it, cause it's not the big name brand. But I mean, when you look at the specs of it, look at the weight of it, <laughs> it's eight ply. It's, it's a standard compound. The reviews you read, I mean, it, it's supposed to wear really well. Yep. Um, yep. Look at, I mean, they just, it looks like a really good tread pattern. And you can get them with, uh, with softer, uh, softer rubber and Kevlar sidewalls, I think. Which yeah. Makes a little bit which is options. I mean, not many oh. tires give you an option like that when you're ordering. I think they have three different rubber compounds. Yeah. And then the Kevlar, um, uh, sidewall. Now, okay. So what did you pay for these tires? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be wondering what uh, the value is. It was around 1300 US. So that's like 40,000 Canadian yeah. pesos. Yeah, I happened to buy them <laughs> just after the price increased. Yeah. They were uh, 800 or 880. Yeah. And then uh, um, right at that point, before they shipped them out, the price changed and oh. added another 500 bucks to the to the price tag. And then that's obviously switched that to Canadian. So yeah. I don't even want to do the math. Either way, though, I mean, I just by looking at them, you can tell these are going to perform well. The the only real true test is after this season, and there's, you know, three thousand kilometers on them. Will we still be impressed with them? Will they wear easy? You know, I don't think lugs are going to get be, or I don't think lugs are going to be getting ripped off here and all that stuff. And Agent Orange is right over there, 
and three of the tires are already on but i'm not showing her to you yet until uh, we get them all cleaned you're gonna have to watch this before we do the grand reveal so what's really important we're finding out because this is our first time mounting b blocks yep. at home yeah so what we're finding out that's really really super crucial is for seating and everything else the the rim in the front it has to be dead center of the hole and it has to be the same equal space all the way around there otherwise it won't seat properly the the uh the room left for the for the bead locks is actually a little bigger than what you need and that makes it a little easier to not get it centered mm -hmm. but you know after the first time or the first one we yeah. found out that oh got to pay a little bit of attention when you do that now normally when they the, the videos that i watched you put a bucket under here i i don't feel like looking for a bucket right now so oh. i'm doing it this way so i'm just now the other thing and i i got this off a of video too these marks yeah you're supposed to align the uh the valve with that i guess there must be something heavier on the other end there to to balance out the uh the weight of that thing or something so i did it like this and then i lift it up and i push this guy down and i get one started on there and in theory that all sounds real good with my your ratchet's behind you on the bench is it yeah right behind you right behind you on the ground the oh. the bench the stool the stool <laughs> so that's what i that's what i was doing and it's a bit of a pain in the ass you know, it is, but I mean, the thing is, you're, it's a pain in the ass to do it this way, guys, but uh, it's, it's, it, you're being more self-reliant and you're also learning new skills by doing it this way, because neither one of us have done this before, so we're bo both kind of learning uh, how, as we go. I, I'd never done much mechanics before I got my commander, period, and she's forced me to become an at-home mechanic. So all I do is I, I, uh, I tighten it up a bit, and then just run them around and as you do that just get them all started and then gradually work your way around and tighten them up yeah and it pulls the rim up a little bit okay Well, here we are guys and uh, as you can see we made her into town and the machines are washed off now so you can actually tell what color they are and okay I know you're all waiting here I'll finally show you what they actually look like and isn't that freaking killer I think the orange rims were nice cool but I think it looks a lot better with like the gunmetal gray on the rims the powder coated rings it just makes everything blend better together and the orange is just that bright accent pop that gives it more sporty looks it's really nice and then what he's done with the punisher skull the steel on the bottom of the rock slider the checker plate the checker plate on the back with the stainless bolts it all it all just works it freaking works man and it's gonna be not just stylish but really 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 freaking functional too so I know I can't wait to see these tires in action. What about you? What's your first impression? Oh, I think they're awesome. Yeah? I, I think the rims are really, really nice. And, you know, in combination with the uh, with the new rubber. Yeah. It. Uh, I did not think that the impact would be that that big. No. Over the orange. You know, because I always thought the orange was kind of cool, but uh, not having it now, boy, oh boy. Nice, definitely. Makes all the difference. Big thanks to Bullite. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, huge shout out to Bullite Wheels. Um, just making sure we are set up and in style too. So make sure you guys check them out. Okay, guys, one more thing. Considering this is actually episode four of the build series, and sorry, there's a bike in the background. He's uh, Bikes somehow are exempt from exhaust rules, and we still getting shit for them. Explain that one to me. Anyways. 
for episode four, the other thing we did is he did, dad did, is take the uh, jerry can and you'll notice it says skidoo on it and it fits on the commander. So it, it's the versatility of the link system is really, really something that Can-Am has mastered. Like the, the coming from Yamaha, I can tell you that Yamaha didn't have anywhere near the accessories and the versatility of those accessories as uh, Can-Am does, as BRP does. So I think that's all we got for this one. Um, it was really mainly just about the tires and, and wheels. Um, make sure you stay tuned though, because knowing dad, I'm sure there's gonna be uh, some more stuff done to this. And also, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a couple little projects coming for uh, my machine. So if you care, I don't think he was doing it deliberately. So anyways, now that the bike is gone, um, if you care about Project Painkiller, which realistically on this channel, no one seems to give a rat's ass about it. They all care about freaking Agent Orange here, but it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I understand. It's just the way she goes. Yeah, we're going to get started on this one and maybe I'll tell you a little bit about it. So we're going to get some, I think we're going to do custom rock sliders for this because you can't get the BRP ones anymore the ones I want anyways. Um, the one thing we did already was add the extreme front bumper on. Uh, BRP accessory, the machine's two seasons old and it just, it bolted up no problem. I don't know if you noticed, but there's the, the Haas Fairlead synthetic cable now. We're still running our Bullite Berserkers on 30 inch XTR 370s. And other than that, not much has changed. The only thing we're gonna add on is a heavy duty steering rack from Super ATV. And we're also going to do a custom diamond plate floor pan for both sides because um, as you can see there's massive holes there and if they if that doesn't get addressed they're just going to get bigger. So just a couple little things that are going to get done to it. Maybe, maybe one more big thing but I haven't decided that yet. So make sure you stay tuned. Keep the shiny side up and the dirty side down. I'll see you on the next one.